let's stop overpacking for Disney. And I'm not talking about things that you actually need. I'm talking about the stuff that just lives in your suitcase the entire time and you don't touch it. And yes, I'm packing for Disney again. So about this trip, I'm gonna be packing for my family of four for five nights, six days at Walt Disney World in the month of March. So we're doing kind of a Disney pack with me springtime edition here, but also trying to not overpack because springtime at Disney is still one of those really tricky times similar to winter where you need winter clothes and summer clothes and you may use all of them within the same day. So as if that's not confusing enough of a situation to pack for, that just really lends itself to overpacking and you end up with all of this stuff in your suitcase and it's just in case stuff that you may or may not use. So while I am there for being prepared, because personally I don't have a disposable income to just buy a bunch of stuff if I get there and it's like, oh, well, it, it turned out to be cold. I don't have $500 to go drop on new clothes right then and there. And also I don't want a bunch of new clothes that I had to buy out of force and necessity. I want to buy clothes because I want to buy clothes. So with this situation, we're going to be packing my family of four. So myself, my husband, my four-year-old and my two-year-old little girls into personal items and carry-ons only. So sometimes we do check bags. Today we are doing carry-on only and personal items. So Let's dive in to what I'm packing. I wanna get the clothes out of the way first. That is the bulk of what I have to pack because I take up a lot of room. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and then we're gonna start into all of the other little things. And I'm gonna share some tips along the way to help you avoid overpacking. I've got all of our outfits laid out here on the bed and personally, I like to pack in outfits because for one, I love a good, cute, coordinating family outfit anytime but especially on vacation at disney so i just it's part of my love language i think it's not in that book about the love languages but i think it's a love language so personally i identify with that love language but another thing with planning outfits and helping to coordinate that is that means you pack less when you're actually thinking through what you're going to be doing and what you would like to wear while doing it it's also narrowing down the stuff that you're going to take when you just pack last minute willy-nilly you throw all kinds of stuff in there because you've not had a chance to truly think through what am i going to wear at these days what am i going to wear at this part or that park or what am I gonna wear on our resort day what do I want to comfortably spend that day in and so when you don't think about those things you end up tossing in three outfits a day or more and because you're like oh well I like this and I like that and I just need to throw comfy things into the suitcase and you end up over packing because you really you didn't think about it so let me show you what I have and how I'm packing for this kind of whole spring at Disney scenario when it's like what in the world do you do? Because you could have 50 degree days and 80 degree days. Those require very different outfits. We are six days away from our trip, so I like to get an early start with all of this. So I'm just gonna walk you through our outfits and kind of how this is going to look, what extra things I am taking as options for that colder weather, but not overpacking with way too much stuff. So lucky for us, we will be having likely 80 degree days while we're there and around 60s in the evenings. So starting out here, I have our Animal Kingdom outfits. So I have most of this is going to be cooler weather type things. So more geared towards those 80 degree days, but I do have a long sleeve shirt and pants back up as our second outfit. For me personally, for my kiddos, I take two outfits per day because because, well, kids are messy. I shouldn't have to explain more than that. If you have a child, you probably have come to realize that they can be quite messy. So I have backup outfits for them. We've got princess dresses for our Epcot day here. And then we have little dresses underneath. So I have two outfits. We've got our little daisy outfit for them going here with a little t-shirt and shorts set underneath have their Rapunzel dresses for our day at Magic Kingdom, and then some little jogger and pullover hoodie outfits for our travel day home. They're kind of lightweight, so they're great for springtime weather, but they are long sleeve outfits. So we've got that going on for them. For my husband and I, I have like athletic dresses for myself, comfy linen sets, things like that. Um, all of our outfits, I will try to link below. So if you're looking for Disney outfit style, you can definitely check that out. Or I did put up a prepping vlog and I shared 
provide all of our outfits in detail of what we're packing. So I don't want to go over that again in this vlog, but I have some polos for my husband and some shorts for him, uh, some linen type shirts. He is very comfortable in those, more polos. And then again, for myself, body suits and denim shorts. We've got linen sets, dresses, and then some little like sweatshirt and short set kind of uh, loungewear for travel home day. So we've got our bases of our outfits covered with some options for longer sleeves. So I've got my jacket there that I can throw over my outfit and things like that. But coming over to the end, I have our swimsuits laid out here. So I have two swimsuits for the girls and their cover up. And then I have my swimsuit and cover up here. And we'll pack that up in a second. And then as far as extra clothing. So I have this little stack here that I am taking where I've got an extra sweatshirt a little sweater, sweatshirt, and jogger set, and then two pairs of leggings for my girls, which any of these, I can throw some leggings under little princess dresses if I needed to, say for in the morning and they're chilly, then it warms up. We can throw on the leggings, take them off as they start to get warmer. We can interchange those with like t-shirts and some of the shorts with the set that we have for later on in the day. And then same goes for my other daughter sweatshirt, sweat set and then two pairs of little pants down here and that way they work interchangeably we can throw the sweatshirt on with the shorts and the t-shirt set and then we've got another option to throw on and that way they can be warmer or if they need full-blown pants and it gets cold we do have options for that too but it's not a ton of extra stuff i'm not taking two different styles of outfits for every day because that's just going to take up a lot of room for myself i have an extra sweatshirt and then a pair of jeans and a pair of of little like what are the I guess they're leggings but with the flare legs um, so I have a fleece line pair of those so I've got some options for if it is a little cooler in the evenings that sort of thing same goes for hubby I have him a little spider-man sweatshirt and an extra pair of jeans he will wear jeans on travel day but we'll have that so that's kind of what we're working with here another tip for helping you to not overpack is to take the stuff to do laundry so I will take a fold up collapsible laundry basket like this one it's literally this one it is my favorite as well as if I order groceries I'll order some laundry detergent with that or if I am just traveling and I don't want to have to worry about ordering that you can also do laundry sheets they're almost like a little bit thicker dryer sheet but you just literally throw them in the washing machine they don't count as liquid you can just put them in a ziploc bag and travel with them really easy so those are some ways too that you can also have that kind of stuff personally I like to do laundry on vacation and that way I can come home it's kind of part of our middle of the day nap time routine my kids nap and I do laundry and it's kind of therapeutic I love getting out walking around my husband hangs out usually back in the room or we'll switch off and then we'll just sit there and have a folding party while the kids are napping so you know it's something that I can do and it also kind of alleviates some of that stress of coming home and being overwhelmed with a suitcase full of laundry for how many ever people are in your family and then another thing that keeps me on track of what I need to pack and then things that I don't are my packing list so I have one for myself my two girls and as well as my husband. I know I have a packing list for my husband. Um, I have one side that is for me to use so it helps plan his outfits and the things that I need to help him pack. And then on this side we have his items. And so these are all the things that he's in charge of packing well for himself because he's very concerned about those things. Um, if you have a husband like that you can totally understand. But I do have these available so if you use the code video you can get 10% off of your order. I will have the link to my packing list down below if you're in the market for those. But Another thing that I will do is as I start packing things and kind of checking stuff off of my list, I'll also go through and use a highlighter and highlight anything that I need to pack last minute. That way I can just eliminate any of that stuff. Like it's one of those things, you could do this, you could pack it and just go through these last minute things without coffee. Like you can literally, autopilot you just go through and check off the things on your list. I find that that works really, really well and it just, it's been a great system for me, so I'm just sharing what's working because sometimes it's like, how, where do I even start? Or you don't pack near as often. I'm packing a lot all the time, so I've kind of got a good rhythm. So I want to share these tips with you guys, but that's that's the system that we're using right now. So I'm going to be working on that. We're going to start throwing things into packing cubes. And yeah, we're gonna work through some more things and also more tips about how you can not overpack. Now these are the packing cubes I'm going to be using. I absolutely love these because they hold their shape. You can easily take them out of the suitcase, set them into the drawer, 
and just fold the flat back and everything stays organized. And that way you can stow the suitcase. You don't have to be in and out of it all week long, leaving it laying open on some luggage rack. It can keep your room nice and tidy and everything just kind of stays put. So like in the hotel room, I'll do a drawer with like my girl's clothes and then I'll do a drawer with my husband and I's packing cube of clothes. So this works out really well for me. So. I'm gonna go ahead, throw all of these things into these packing cubes, and then we're gonna keep going with the packing. Cause we just, we wanna get this done cause I wanna be in vacation mode. Anybody else like put the little like a hands up emoji if you are ready to be in vacation mode. Obviously we're not finished packing here, but another mistake a lot of us fall into when packing for a trip is we fill the space just because it's there and we don't leave room to breathe or room to buy souvenirs. It's really easy to, oh, I have room, so I'm gonna throw in these extra two pair of shoes when the two you were already packing is completely sufficient. You don't need four pair of shoes for a two day trip, but here you are taking four pair of shoes for a two day trip. You know what I mean? That may not be your situation, but you can kind of, I'm sure we can all relate in some way of something that you've done where it's like, oh, I have room, I'm gonna throw this in. So if you don't need it, if it isn't in your plan preliminary preliminarily don't pack a bunch of extra stuff just because you have room because likely you'll end up regretting it and it'll be in the hotel room on the trip and there's nothing you can do about it then you're just stuck with those two extra pair of shoes now we are moving on to shoes so i have two pairs of tennis shoes each for my girls a pair of water shoes and a pair of sandals and then i have two pair of tennis shoes for myself so i am taking these reeboks i've not worn these to disney but around town running errands and things they've been really comfortable so i'm excited about those i have my reef sandals which as you can tell they get some love they get dirty i wear these to the water park to the theme park we wear them running around outside in the dirt like it's just clearly they get some love and they've not been cleaned which they probably should be but those are my favorite <laughs> just park sandals in general and then my all birds which could probably use a bath they're kind of dirty birds right now but um right now i'm th trying to throw things in a suitcase so that is what we're working with i love these they're so breathable they're awesome but we're gonna do that go ahead get their shoes into these little packing cubes and toss them into our suitcases Another thing I'm doing with my little shoe bag here is I'm going to stuff my socks in around here so that it's also utilizing some of the space. I'm not having to put it in a separate packing cube or something. I already have room in here and my socks are gonna go in my shoes anyway, so why not just go ahead and pop them in here? <sighs> I feel like this is such a workout and I'm like, I'm almost like sweating over here. It's just getting things together is such a workout. Um, but okay, my hair looks crazy after I did that, whatever. But <laughs> we're just, we're letting it all hang out today. But I finally found Dean's packing cubes. I looked for them and looked for them and looked for them in our same closet. And I think they heard me tell him, hey, where are your packing cubes? Can you help me look for them? Because I'm completely missing them. And then as soon as I looked again, there they were. 
I swear, story of my life. But I finally found the packing cubes. So I'm gonna get his clothes now off the bed so we can move on to other things for the resort, for swim time, pool time, getting our arrival day bag ready. So this is like our go bag. You know how you have like, when you're pregnant, you have your go bag that it's like, okay, this is our, we're gonna throw it in the, in the car and run to the hospital bag. This is gonna be a go bag for arrival day and killing time in case the room isn't quite ready yet. go bag that I was talking about a second ago. So I'm gonna be using one of my favorite personal item bags for this. I also will have in said bag, it's gonna be bag section over here, my pool bag. So it's just this kind of, kind of woven like bag. It's got a few pockets and things on the inside, but it is the perfect pool bag. Plus it actually like looks kind of trendy. So I feel like I could even use that as a purse this summer. So I'm like really excited about that bag. But I have a swimsuit and a tank top for my husband, flip flops for him, my swimsuit, and my cover up and then a pair of slides for me a swimsuit actually I need to take out the secondary swimsuit that needs to go in her packing cube totally missed that one but we're gonna have a swimsuit and cover up for Lucy and a swimsuit cover up for Bella and then shoes as well so that's all gonna go in there so that we can just pull that pool bag out and be able to easily go to the pool and if we need to we can check our other luggage at Bell Services and keep this one bag with us and we are set and then the other thing that I'm gonna be putting in here is our pajamas and you're like why are you putting pajamas in here let me explain Picture this if you will. You've been lounging by the pool, you get your text that your room is ready, but when you get to your room, you are ready to get your kids clean, but you only have the dirty clothes with you that you took off of them that they've been wearing all day traveling. You don't have anything to put them in and you don't have anything to bathe them with or anything like that. It's close to nap time and you would love to do that because maybe you got the room text early and you're like us, you took like an early flight down there. So sometimes we've had the instance where we'll call bell services, say, hey, we just got our room, we're in room number blah, blah, blah. Can you bring our bags over? And they were like, yeah, we're a little backed up. It's gonna be about 30 minutes. And you're sitting there waiting with wet kids and you're like, I need clothes for these children, like whatever. It's nap time, we could like be resting and that sort of thing. So I'm putting our pajamas in there, that way we could all get showers and put on our like lounge PJ clothes and be comfortable while we're waiting on our bags if we wanted to relax. I would just rather have an extra set. We can use the toiletries and things that are there in the room. With that being said, I just think that's a really great thing is to like have this prep one go bag, you know, okay, this is the bag that we keep out. And then I don't have to worry about like going through suitcases and you're not fiddling through things, trying to find things. It's all in one bag. And you were just, you're ready to head straight to the pool. You say goodbye to your bags and it's pool time and you are in vacay mode, just like, let's go. The other thing I'm gonna pack in there is our portable sound machine that way. Again, if it's nap time and our bags aren't there yet, we can go ahead and get that started so we can kind of relax. I have our little swim bag which has swim diapers in it. I have our Solar Buddy. This is an awesome sunscreen applicator. If you do not have one of these, I swear, like I will continue to forever recommend these because they're so good. I love it. And then I have our towel bands. So these actually stretch and hold your towel onto your pool chair. And that way you can kind of like mark your seat and everybody can know, okay, well, this is my color. They glow in the dark. So if you're doing nighttime pool time, there you go, fun stuff. And then I also have this case for being able to put my phone in. I love this thing. It is awesome and seriously is waterproof. I don't have to worry about if my phone goes underwater. It is safe and secure in that bag. So love that. And then I have a little pouch of little hair ties for the girls and myself. So if I needed those, kind of pull our hair up while we are swimming and sunbathing, then we're good. And then I'll show you this when I get everything packed up.
thing actually opens and it clamps your hat. So it can hang off the side of the bag like so. So if you don't wanna wear it, it's here. So that's easily accessible and perfectly hanging there. And then when we're there, I can take this off and simply hang it onto my pool bag if I wanted to, if I didn't wanna immediately put it on. I've got a few options. So I thought that was absolutely perfect. So too cool. And there you go, our go bag is <laughs> ready to go. Now we're gonna use another one of those pink personal items like we did a minute ago, but this is going to be for our sleep setup stuff. So we know which bags we need to grab to be able to basically just set up the room. Um, so this is what we're gonna do for these. And yes, they will hold both of these slumber pods. It's insane. Um, we pack both of those into this bag as well as my daughter's toddler inflatable bed. So we use our slumber pods for both our two and a half year old and our four and a half year old. Um, the two and a half year old is in a pack and play uh, that we use complimentary of Disney. And then our four and a half year old is in a inflatable toddler bed. I'll just have to, when she's not doing her quiet time, sneak in there and grab the pump for this. And I can squeeze it right down in this spot right over here. There's plenty of space. And that will be our sleep setup bag. Like literally, this is this bag is perfection, you guys. I talk about it a lot. But it's because it just—I swear it's like the Mary Poppins bag of like packing bags. Now I'm gonna pack up some of our stroller items into my little girl's suitcase here. So we have our little small cooler bag that will fold out that we can use for things that we need. Have our stroller hook here. We can hang bags from our stroller caddy. This is a favorite of ours. And then this tote bag. I always take a tote bag for all the random things, the rain gear, all the just extra stuff that you end up with at the end of the day or when you're going through security and you need to like consolidate your stuff down. I'm taking this, it's the Super Beeve, I believe, by Jujube and it is their like Little Mermaid print. It is so cute, so colorful and fun. And so I'm gonna use that as my like catch-all tote for all the extra stuff that we need to throw into the stroller. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack that in there as well. Another thing I'm gonna pop in here is this little pouch. And it is full of just kind of random things actually, but it's for restocking our diaper bags. So we've got everything from little coloring packets in here to light up balls from the Dollar Tree. We have little glow sticks, toilet seat covers. We have disposable placemats in here. We have um, diaper changing disposable mats. We have all kinds of little things that are just I'll have a few things in my diaper bag, but I'll need to obviously restock each day on our trip. So this is my little restock case. I don't have to take the whole box of like disposable placemats or changing um, pads or anything like that because I know we're not gonna go through that many. I just narrowed it down to the ones that I know I'll actually need. And so I'm not taking the whole 24 pack when I know I'm not gonna go through that. I'm gonna go through like mm, probably six or so each person a week. So that's, kind of what I'm looking at here. And then I'm also adding in the stroller blankets that I'm gonna be using for the girls. This disposable diaper pail, which is awesome for hotel rooms because we are staying value and they only do trash and towels and things like that every other day. So we only get housekeeping then. So <laughs> stinky diapers need a place to go and that thing's amazing. And then I do have a water paint mat in here. It is really thin, doesn't take up a lot of space, but that is their hotel room activity. It comes with two little pins here. So I've got those in there and that way I I can have something like it spreads out almost as big as the bed here but it doesn't take up a lot of space in the suitcase and it gives them something to do when we're in the hotel room so that is going to probably do it for her suitcase I feel like I'm just gonna go ahead get this zipped up all right now we are moving on to the diaper bag kind of travel bag travel day setup so I have my little tray covers these actually cover and they come with different styles if you don't have a little girl I know I have boy moms out there they actually have little boy styles too but this covers the airplane tray seat and so you can put like a tablet on this side and then this will actually with the little snaps here make a tray 
where stuff doesn't roll off. So if they have little toys or things, you can put them in there and it also gives them just kind of a cleaner spot um, to have their toys and things or snacks or whatnot. So I have the girls one of those. And then my formula for not overpacking activities, because I have been the world's worst about that. It's just really easy. You want to make sure they're covered. And so you end up packing way more than you actually need. So let me give you my new formula. And I mentioned this at the end of my prep with me vlog, but I wanted to share it here too, is I have started coming up with a three to one formula for packing activities for the girls. So I do three, four, our travel time and then I do two for when we are in line in the parks or in the parks and like activities there and then one for in the hotel room so that formula has been keeping me a little more reeled in um, we have about a two or so hour flight so depending on obviously how long you may need a few more activities than that that if you are a domestic flight you're not coming from like incredibly far away then this formula is probably gonna work for you too um, first off too we don't do any activities as soon as we get on the plane I try to let them play with the little airplane manuals and the menu and the back of the seat and we look out the window and we like look at all the buttons and like all the things we try to exhaust that first before dipping into our activities and stuff so we don't go straight for things I try to be like hey let's look at some stuff let's do this let's talk about that or what are you excited about and talk about the trip or things like that so you're not just immediately jumping in to your arsenal of activities to keep them occupied on however long your flight is. Now my three for travel is going to be their headphones and their tablet. So that's like one activity is their tablet time. And then another one is this play sand. I showed it in that video, but this stuff's awesome. And when I say play sand, you're probably like, oh my God, you probably spit coffee. Like what in the world, girl? This is the strangest play sand. Like it is not your normal stuff that gets messy. I actually believe I prefer this over play-doh like it doesn't get stuck in crevices this stuff is insanely amazing it comes with a little stamp to like play in the sand and then the actual sand itself so that will be our second activity and then their busy pouches which i can also transfer these into our diaper bag when we are going to the parks but it just has some little dollar tree stickers a couple of crayons and a little notebook from amazon i got this like multi-pack um and it's just in a pencil case and so those are their little art pouches or busy pouches as we like to call them and then for their two items for in line in the parks, I will do these little tablets, which I'll keep in my little mommy bag with me. And then they have their cameras. Now I'm not counting this. I'm just taking them a little purse, but it's just a purse that they have. So, you know, that is, I don't know. I'm not counting that as an activity. It can be used as an activity, but they like to carry little things or put their stickers in there or a crayon or something. And so they just, they think it's fun. So um, maybe that is an extra activity. I don't know. And then these are going to go in our mealtime bags. So I have these little pouches here that are specifically for mealtime. They have some kids forks. They have disposable placemats, some stickers. Uh, they also have a bib in there. So I've got all of those and that is ready for for mealtime. And then last but not least, I have our magic bands that we'll be taking and then some backup magic band keepers. I love these things. And if you do not have these for your magic band, I don't care what style you have or anything, you need these, whether you're an adult, you're a three-year-old, whatever. These things are awesome and they're able to just slide down over the band. And I'm sorry, my nails like horrible, you guys. I really need to get them done before this trip. But you can slide them down and it keeps the band close together and on your wrist. So these things are awesome and totally like they're not expensive, but they're worth the investment in getting so you do not lose your magic bands. Now I did this on my last trip and it worked really well. So I'm just gonna do it again. It's one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm gonna do this again. But instead of packing everything into my diaper bag, I'm going to pack my diaper bag into this bag and all the things I need for our travel. Now I will have to add some things to this bag later on because we'll do a day of snacks and things like that that will go into this bag but for now we're going to go ahead and get activities packed up um i am also filming a week of vacation vlog where i'm going literally day by day the seven days before our vacation and adding in things and sharing things along the way so lots of packing and prepping tips so i have a whole playlist now that you can like watch through um so that video i don't think it's the next one but i think it's the one after that so the following monday 
will be when that one goes live. So if you wanna see like all those last minute things, you'll definitely wanna subscribe for that. Click the bell notification whatever so you can know when it goes live. But I'm going to just take this bag. Again, it's the same personal item bag like I have earlier. I'm just gonna throw the diaper bag in here. And then we're gonna throw in all this other stuff that we're taking as activities and fun stuff for the kiddos. And then this is going to be my mommy bag that I use in the parks, but I'm also going to be able to have this and wear it at the airport. So I won't be able to count this as my personal item or anything, so I will have to tuck it into this bag when I get on the plane and things, when you have to kind of consolidate everything. But once we get off the plane, I will be able to pull it back out, put it on, but I plan on having my wallet in here. I've got our magic bands, that way as soon as we get onto Disney property, we're ready to go. We can scan in to our room, we can get into the hotel, anything like that. I've got their little activities for maybe when we're in the car, if we need to pull something out and easily give that to them. I will put, again, my wallet in here, that sort of thing. So we'll set that up in just a bit, but that's kind of how that's working. We've got plenty of room left for snacks and um, I'll need to put my wet bag and things like that in there with the change of clothes for the girls. So we will be adding those items in, but we're getting there, you guys. Like, we're slowly but surely, ugh, we're getting there. Now let's talk about some things you should always pack for Disney, no matter the season, because whether it's the rainy season or not, there's just less rain. It's not like it's not gonna rain. If you get a trip where it doesn't rain at all, like I feel like you should also buy a lottery ticket because this you've done something really well in Florida. Even in the winter time, it can be so rainy. But while I'm packing this up and talking about this, I'm gonna use this bag here. It does have a clip up top and so I can hang this off of the stroller. I can put all of our rain gear in here and be able to just grab it. Everybody put on their rain jackets, grab out an umbrella, that sort of thing. And it also makes it going through security and doing all that stuff, it makes it a lot easier. I will say though with security, my mileage has varied on whether it was helpful to have the umbrella still in this bag or if I should take it out. So sometimes if it went off, they would just be like, oh, it's in a clear bag. Okay, that's an umbrella. Keep going, you're good. And then there's other times I've had a security guard that they're like, it's in a bag, you gotta go through. And then they would check all of the bags. So your mileage may vary on that. You may wanna just pull out the umbrella just to save the confusion and just be like, okay, hold it over your head, do that sort of thing. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But. So I'm gonna just pack up our rain gear here. We always take rain jackets. We are rain coat jacket people versus poncho people. Ponchos, you just go through so many of them and they just, I don't know. It just feels wasteful after a while. I am not anti-disposable things because obviously I use some disposable things, but that's just one of those that it just, they start ripping and tearing and then just, they don't last all day and you have to just be so ginger with them. I don't know, I just don't care for those, but rain jackets. And then personally, I take an umbrella um, for sure for myself. Sometimes we'll take an extra umbrella for like my husband or something, but for me and vlogging, I kinda need to be able to have an umbrella so I can still talk to you lovelies um, or else I, that cameras can't get wet. So it doesn't, it's not a, a fan of getting wet, but always, obviously pack your rain gear your stroller cover for your stroller that sort of thing you need to pack those all the time and then when it comes to obviously sunscreen i don't care if you're going in the winter months and you think oh well we're not going to be in the pool or whatever you need to pack sunscreen you can get a sunburn in january in florida i promise you it is possible so don't think that oh well we're not going in july we don't need sunscreen that's not true. So things like that, I would always recommend taking no matter the season. So they're just kind of good staples that you should always have in your wardrobe. But this is how 
the rain gear looks in the bag and we are good. I will have the small shop that I get these from. This bag is amazing. It's part of her boxy collection. It is the large size, if I'm not mistaken. And it fits all four of our rain jackets. So mine and my husband's adult rain jacket, our umbrella and that. I could probably even roll up a stroller rain cover and put it in here. Quite possibly. I feel like I could because I'm seeing room. So I could I could fill this thing out even more and be able to get that in there. I will have that in another part of our stroller so I don't have to do that. But if you wanted to like really consolidate it down, you could definitely do this. <laughs> I am throwing in these little cubes. So I've got these for the girls to be able to put toys in when we're in the hotel room just to kind of keep it clean. You can stack them one on top of each other and they just pop up and you can collapse them. So I'm excited about having something that can like keep their stuff tidy. Um, you could also use these like as drawer organizers if you wanted to, like if you needed a spot to like organize things. And I love that they don't take up a lot of room, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss those in there. I am taking our hand warmers just because it is gonna get down in the 50s, 60s, and I do not like being cold. So if I can have something and have my hands warm, then the rest of me feels warm, but it's like if my hands start feeling cold, the, my whole body starts feeling cold, so I'm gonna take the hand warmers. And another thing I'm gonna to toss in here because you know, Florida weather is crazy and that's our Mickey fans because you know, it could be hot during the day. I've literally experienced that in January is we needed fans during the daytime and hand warmers at night. Like literally you get both seasons in one day in the state of Florida. And then the last thing I'm gonna to try to squeeze in this top of the suitcase is my meds bag. This always comes with me. If you have ever gotten sick on vacation, you understand why I'm packing this. And we have gotten sick a few times on vacation, so it is so much easier to have this stuff with you instead of running up to like catch an Uber and go over to Walgreens and get stuff. And I just, I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with all that. So we're gonna take this with us. Another thing I'm tossing in, I'll have to add in my husband's sunglasses, but I have mine and my girls in this little sunglasses organizer here so they can all stay together and we're not having to keep up with a bunch of little things that keeps them protected in our luggage. And then I can also hang it up if I want to um, at the room or whatever. And we can have a nice little organized spot both here and there to hang and put our sunglasses. So I was very excited and love that little Amazon find. And then I think the last thing I'm gonna lay in my bag and we are basically packed other than last minute things that I have to throw in later on in the week, but I'm gonna throw in these little slings. So these are actually, you can wear them cross body and they actually help you carry your preschooler, toddler, whatever. And they are so incredibly helpful. My husband and I usually keep one in each of our bags and it's amazing. So I will link them below if you're going to Disney with a little one that they're walking, but they still get tired, but you don't want a full blown carrier. The thing is insane. You need it in your life. It is going to help so much, but thank you for following along on the adventure. That was this packing vlog. I hope you guys got some tips and tricks out of it. Helped you feel a little more prepared for your Disney vacation. And yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button, the red subscribe button if you are new, and I'll see you guys right here in the next one. Bye! And thank you as always for being a part of my end of the video club. Since you've made it this far, go ahead and leave me a little suitcase emoji in the comment section. I really appreciate you sticking around since the end. You guys are seriously the absolute best, but thank you so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye!